Minutes ago, the Secretary of the Department of Homeland Security, Kirsten Nielsen, announced that President Trump will sign a proclamation today deploying National Guard troops to the U.S.-Mexico border. Nielsen says she hopes the deployment will begin immediately, even potentially as early as this evening. The president had teased some kind of action yesterday, saying he would send, quote, the military. And on Twitter this morning, the president promised, quote, strong action. CNN's Jeff Zeleny is at the White House. And Jeff, you asked Secretary Nielsen why this is happening so urgently. Why now? What did you have to say? Well, Jake, that certainly is the question here. What has changed so dramatically that this needs to happen? I mean, but uh, she was talking about sending an unspecified number of troops for an unspecified duration of time at an unspecified price tag to the border. But again, we asked her, why so urgent? Let's watch. What uh, responsibility does the White House or the department have for not urging Congress to do something more permanent rather than having National Guard troops down there who are, you know, uh, stretched thin already in their yeah. own state? No, right thank you. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a great question, and I appreciate the opportunity to clarify. We do want Congress to act. Uh, we had been hopeful uh, that we would be able to agree on a bipartisan bill. The president, as you know, supported two of the four uh, that were offered on the floor this last go-round. Uh, so what we were trying to do is give Congress an opportunity to act. So she went on to say, Jake, that there, uh, you know, have seen an uptick in uh, border crossings, advertisements and other things in the month of April as the weather uh, warms up, but never seem to answer the question exactly why this is needed at this moment. You know, the House is uh, in recess, the Senate not here. The president is taking action on this. We do believe, based on our uh, reporting, that it is because of a Fox News report over the weekend where he saw, he also had a dinner with uh, Sean Hannity, uh, you know, uh, informal advisor here at Mar-a-Lago over the weekend. And since then, he has been pressing immigration. Clearly a sign that he wants to uh, reach out to his base, which has been asking some tough uh, questions about this. But that sense of urgency, it uh, feels like it here, but we're still not sure what has changed on the border to warrant any of this as soon as tonight. Jake. All right, Jeff Zeleny at the White House for us. Thanks so much. My political panel is here with me. Jackie Kucinich, can, can it actually be right that the president saw this Fox and Friends report or Fox News report about a caravan of, of hundreds of individuals coming up from Central America uh, an annual activity, um, and he saw this and that, plus the meeting with uh, Sean Hannity at Mar-a-Lago, that, that that's why all of a sudden U.S. National Guard troops are being sent to the border? I would also add to that list, because it is entirely possible, uh, the fact that the president was still bent out of shape, that he had to sign this omnibus appropriations bill that did not have the amount of money that he wanted to build his wall. Um, he said he was never going to sign anything like that again because it didn't, and he tried to pressure Congress. Congress said no. So I think and the backlash he got from people like Ann Coulter, from members of his base, the fact that he signed it anyway, I think that also added to the fact and the rage um, that's kind of going into this new policy uh, that's bringing troops to the border. Simone, what do you think? <laughs> I, I think we're, the White House has not been clear. So one, uh, the president cannot destroy, deploy the National Guard. That's something the governors have of to course. do. And he does have folks, um, governors along the border that will go along with the get along, but I doubt that Governor Jerry Brown of California will be doing just that. Secondly, uh, the, the White House is, is conflating a number of issues. You had the, the Secretary of the Department of Homeland Security saying that both uh, uh, illegal quote-unquote immigration is down but also that there is a influx of folks coming to this country so which is it i think folks they're trying to have their cake and eat it too and this is problematic the president is so seemingly throwing a temper tantrum because he did not get his money for the border wall so now he's going to siphon off millions of dollars from the defense budget that has been appropriated for something else to build parts of a wall on military property that should be concerning to everyone and i want congress to wake up and do their damn job you know uh, the, the the um the idea that the president is motivated to do this because of what happened over the weekend but also potentially because of the midterms uh, seems like a coach and political argument. He's not going to be able to campaign on we're getting the wall done in the midterms, but he can say, look, we're doing something. We sent troops, National yeah, Guard troops. Yeah, I think troops. this has a lot more to do with November and the president sensing that they could lose, the Republicans could lose the House at that time. And so this may be the moment, the summer may be the time for you to do anything with support from Congress. And so he is unilaterally going ahead. Um, I, I think it's you know, it's open question where this money is coming from, as Simone pointed out, and the fact that they're openly saying we're going to build essentially military installations at the border without any consent uh, from Congress, I find sort of alarming. It's question, is this a DHS facility? Is it Homeland Security? Is it an ICE facility? So there's a lot of questions going into that.
And the other question, I think, is when the president talked about sending the military, it was unclear what he meant. I don't think he knew, Jake. I don't, I don't you think... You don't think he I, knew? I do not think Donald Trump knew what he was talking about. He thought that he could deploy <laughs> the army, I think, uh, to the border. And send that the 101st is, Airborne in. Send the 101st Airborne right on down to Arizona. It does not work like that. Civics is really important, but I'm concerned that Donald Trump does not know the difference um, between whom he is, in fact, in charge of. The president cannot deploy the National Guard. We also don't know if DHS asked for this or not. That wasn't clear um, by uh, Secretary Nielsen's presentation there in the briefing room. Um, you'd think if they did, there would be a little bit more information. We'd know how much this cost. We'd know how many troops were going down. We don't know any of that information right now. Or for, how long? Like or for how long? Like a blind side her making this huge announcement from the podium at the White House while Congress is in recess. Right. She mentioned that she's been talking to governors, but I really wonder how much she has been talking to Congress. And I don't mind them getting a little bit of pressure. Listen, the wall has been authorized since 2006. Right. They've drugged their feet on it. They haven't got it done. And so I don't blame Trump for trying to move forward and do something. But the fact that it doesn't appear to be in consultation with Republican members of Congress, given that he has so many you know, people along the southern border that do support him, I find strange. And just, and just to be clear, President Obama and President George W. Bush mm -hmm. both sent National Guard troops right. to the border, but they did so with an interagency process, consultation with the states and consultation with Mexico. Absolutely. Lastly, Jake, I'd just like to note that uh, White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders got out there today and she started with quotes from MLK saying, uh, the president believes all folks are equal. Then from that exact same podium, on the 50th anniversary on the assassination of Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., you had the Secretary of uh, Homeland Security uh, demonizing uh, immigrants and undocumented people. I mean, there's that, not a that's constituency saying that we should have complete open borders. I mean, I think this no is one where is saying that. The, the progressives run a little bit afoul. I mean, who well, wait, is in who favor have you ever heard saying that saying we want that open borders? I don't know. Do you think that? No, I do not think, do you think that we should that have open borders. A, a secretary saying that we need to do something to stop illegal crossings is somehow demonizing immigrants? I don't. I, I think she got up there and alluded to the fact that there were just hordes and hordes of individuals spilling into our country. In the same vein, she well, noted she did that. Have a distinction. In the I same vein, right. she noted that immigration, uh, immigration that quote unquote illegal immigration down, was but down. But they were noting that there's more people coming from Central America gaming the system. That I was think a they're demonizing coming in on there. planes rather than coming across the border that stay here illegally, overstay their sure, visas. Sure, visa so. overstays, which I do think the package of reforms that she, the secretary alluded to that she wanted to work with Congress, I mean, that should obviously be part of it. And it is weird to me that they said, oh, we have this whole package of reforms we want to talk with Congress with, but we'll tell you about that later. Yeah, they well, didn't have any numbers. Yeah. They didn't have any numbers about how much it costs, who it is, how long folks are going. I think this was rushed. And so um, I find it, I'm hard pressed to believe that there was in fact a plan, that there is in fact a real package. And again, this is not a reaction to something that was said on Fox News. This is not how we should run the government. Uh, it was more thought out than a tweet. Look, if this is the Obama administration, <laughs> I'd just like to know folks would be up in arms. And so I'd like us to just apply so the same standards across the board.